Hi everyone, welcome back to part two of the tutorial of creating the In The Hoop Pride Bat plush pattern. We are going to be now hand sewing and finishing up the body and the rest of the pattern pieces today. So you're gonna grab some hand sewing thread now and we're actually going to ladder stitch up the back portion and we're also going to ladder stitch closed the head. So let's start by ladder stitching the back as shown here. Some of these parts of this tutorial are sped up so they are not in real time uh, just because your time is precious and you don't need me standing here talking for 20 minutes uh, as we slowly hand stitch this plushie together. So let's go, let's finish this cute bat and get things on the go. Now a little tip for not having to re-thread a new piece of thread here. After hand stitching the back, we're gonna tie a knot and we're gonna drive the hand stitching needle up into the neck area. And that way we don't have to re-thread a new piece of thread and we're going to just start ladder stitching again so we're going to ladder stitch this neck portion closed make sure the neck is stuffed quite firmly and doesn't need any more stuffing uh, but this is a great way to conserve your thread and not having to re-thread again is if you have an area to hand stitch closed kind of close to each other you can just drive the needle up in and start continuing to ladder stitch without having to change your thread. So go ahead and do that now and then you can tie off and finish off this piece here. And right here I think I'm going to make the knot. Oh it must be the next one. So when you're at the end make your knot and again I have a long enough piece of thread so I'm going to save it for later. We can actually uh, use it to then continue attaching the head to the body. So I'm leaving that long tail there for later. Moving on to the head here we're going to ladder stitch across this. This is very basic so again I have sped it up but you're going to ladder stitch neatly across the bottom of the head. However Something that I notice a lot in the in the hoop community is people often have a puckering upwards or inwards in their in the hoop plushies when they're sewing their seams closed, especially on the heads I notice. And in order to prevent this, you're actually going to leave a small opening of your ladder stitching and you're gonna stuff that like I just did here. And you're gonna kind of push the stuffing downwards towards the seam and it's going to prevent that odd puckering that I see a lot of in in the hoop plushies. So it's your choice if you want to do that, but I find it really makes the head look nice and rounded without it being awkward. So that's my little tidbit um, for today for you um, for the head. You're also going to see me brushing the seams with my slicker brush. Again, I do this to pull the fur fibers out of those sewn seams to make for a cleaner plushie. So to move on, let's attach the head onto the body using that long tail that I actually had left over. If you need to re-thread a new thread, that's fine. You're going to line it up with a couple pins. Uh, I try to pin it in place. If you have a larger plushie that you're doing, you will need quite a few more pins than I used to make sure that it's going to stay nice and centered. But you're going to pick up that thread that I had, well, I had that tail hanging, and I'm just going to start ladder stitching. Now, I would recommend um, going around the head a couple times especially if you have a larger plushie or you can opt to use an upholstery thread which is actually a thicker um, thicker thread and it's uh, more stable and secure so you can also use that instead and just go around the head once that decision is up to you but we're just ladder stitching along and attaching the head nicely Next up is attaching the wings and finishing them up. The wings are very basic. We're gonna re-thread a new thread and we're gonna hand or ladder stitch the opening closed on the wings. Keep in mind, you can stuff the wings if you want. I chose not to. I wanted mine to be cute and flat, but that decision is up to you. So you're gonna take and ladder stitch that opening closed and then tie a knot at the end. And then we're gonna keep sewing with the same thread because again, I had a pretty long thread tail at the end and then we can start attaching it to the body without having to re-thread a new needle. So go ahead and do that now. Thank you. 
I just love this pattern so much. Like, look at this cute little bat. It is freaking adorable. And the very last, just like the chef's kiss on the end of this pattern is adding this cute little ball tail for the five by seven plus uh, you can use faux fur I still had to trim the faux fur down uh, and scissor shape it just because it was really long like the pile the fur length was really long for a five by seven size but for the four by four you probably will only be able to use minky because it is so uh, tiny um, but for the rest of the sizes faux fur or luxe minky or anything that's fluffy should look adorable on the end of these tails. Um, unfortunately, the tail is assembled in the tutorial mainly by hand to create the ball. Um, but as long as you can do that, uh, it should still turn out great. So we're gonna start to ladder stitch the tail onto the back of the plushie. Again, if you're using a bigger size than a 5x7, I again would recommend using thicker upholstery thread. You don't really want it coming off of there. I sewed around my tail twice by hand sewing it in place and secured it tightly. One of the last steps that you'll need to finish is hand sewing the actual side of the ball on the tail. I actually found a cute little rattle in my drawer. You can buy these off Etsy, they're plastic and cute, um, or from AliExpress. Uh, but I actually slid that inside the tail piece. I choose not to stuff the tail because I really wanna be able to hear that rattle. And the stu more stuffing that you end up putting in the tail, if you do add a rattle, it dulls the rattle sound. So that's what I have uh, experienced. Um, again, rattles can be uh, a choking hazard for very, very young kids. Um, they aren't really safe for babies uh, in hand-sewn items just because babies like to gnaw on things and they can be a choking hazard. So keep that in mind if you uh, are ending up giving this plushie to a child. Um, I will not be held responsible if you choose to use a rattle um, and do give that to a child. So keep that in mind with your hand sewn goods as you always want to make sure that safety is a top priority. Um, otherwise, you can take a moment and ladder stitch the final edges closed of that ball um, at the end of the tail. And this does take a little bit minute if you're using something with quite a bit of fur, like faux fur, but just work carefully and slowly. And then when you're finished, you're gonna use the slicker brush to actually pull the stuck hair fibers out of that sewn seam. So don't worry if it's catching quite a bit of the faux fur and pulling it down in towards it. Uh, so that's the way to fix that. Finally, we can admire our cute little bats. They were quite a bit of work, but I think that the overall product is super unique, super cute. Um, feel free to see how well they do in your shop, uh, but otherwise enjoy making a ton of little bat friends. Their posability and movable arms is just something so unique in an in the hoop plush, and I just love the final outcome. Uh, thanks for being here with me. I hope you learned some little tips and tricks, and I will see you guys next time.